Think that one's ready? Yeah. Let's go try them out. Okay guys, so we have our bananas picked. We're gonna try these out. These are called Dwarf Cavan, Cavan, Dwarf Cavendish Bananas, okay? So, a couple of them that are a little softer than the others but I'm going to try I'm going to try this one and what I'm going to do <coughs> excuse me I don't know how to peel these or anything so I'm just going to cut it open here let me get you down here so you can see what's going on Okay, I'm going to go get a plate so I don't cut into anything. Okay, we've got our plate here. Now, I've never had one of these. Monkey said they taste sweet. And they're supposed to be really good. So, I don't know. It smells just like a banana. This one's really, really soft. Like I said, we got these out of the neighbor's, off the neighbor's tree. They said we could have them if we wanted them. So we thought, well, why let them go to waste? And of course, monkeys like bananas, so. Yeah. Let's, let's give this a shot and see how it tastes. Tastes like a banana, man. These are excellent. They are sweet, but they taste just like a regular banana. There's a little a little more tangier, but I think this tastes better than a regular banana that you buy at the store. But I've never had one before. Dwarf Cavendish. Cav Cavendish. Dwarf Cavendish. Uh, you gotta look it up. Bananas that grow in Florida. They also have the velvet ones where the peel turns uh, like a maroon, like a red color. Now I have seen those before growing on trees around Florida. Mmm, wow. This is spectacular, guys. So if you're in a place in climate where you can try to grow these, you should try to grow them. Uh, the tree will get between five foot and nine feet tall. A little more, a little less. That one out there is about nine feet. Let's see. Uh, these are nine foot ceilings. Yeah. So I'm guessing, yeah, it's about a nine foot tree back there. Um, very, very good. Um, like I said, it's, it's just a banana. Looks like a banana, smells like a banana. But much more pronounced. Um, very, very good. Monkey didn't want to be on camera because she was helping me in the garage all day today. Uh, I think I, I mentioned that in my last video. Um, so I'm going to take her in a piece of this and see what she thinks of it. But um, she's all dirty, so she didn't want to be on camera. So to me, it don't matter. Uh, it's all this dirt, right? So anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's my little little tiny quick review of the bananas that we picked and now are getting ripe. Uh, we cut the stalk down and as you've seen when we cut them off the stalk, um, they say to hang them in the shade. Well, I just put them out there under the umbrella in the shade and they're ripening real well. There's two more out there. There's two more that will probably be ripe tomorrow. These are already ripe now. There's a couple more softer than the other ones. This one's this one's about as soft as that one was. This one's a little harder, so as you can see, it's still got a little green tinge to it, but it'll, it'll ripen. 
so yeah very very good um, I love it yeah again what's it called a uh, Cavendish <laughs> so yeah awesome so thanks for watching my little review I appreciate it and we've still got plenty out there so they'll get ripened so we'll have bananas they like their bananas here's usually some sitting right up here you've probably noticed in the background before on top of the uh, microwave so they love their bananas I like to have a banana every once in a while too and these are very good so I'll be eating them so again thanks for watching guys appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video that I dropped a little bit ago about the uh, the surround sound in the garage man it is amazing fantastic uh, I'll be I'll be jamming in there quite a bit now so anyway guys appreciate it don't forget to check out monkey 1000 channel and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon enjoy the rest of your weekend y'all and be good. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Be safe, guys. Bye-bye.